Signs were on Special Olympians. Their hearts ached for Officer Sonny Kim. That was the bittersweet reality for participants in the annual law enforcement torch run. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live now with how the death of Sonny Kim affected this fundraising event. Well, the first leg of that special the first leg of that torch run normally starts right here at the Cincinnati Police Memorial. But since the Cincinnati Police Department is planning the funeral of Sonny Kim right now, it was moved to Springdale. But still, his spirit and his life of integrity moved many of the runners. They gathered to raise money for the Special Olympics, but as runners from a wide range of law enforcement agencies got ready to run in Springdale, Sonny Kim's passing was top of mind. He's deep in our heart and thoughts and prayers right now and his family and Cincinnati PD. It is a tragic loss. They took off in hot and humid conditions, thinking of Officer Kim's dedication to service and giving his life to protect the community. In some small measure, uh, I think the people today took this as an opportunity to reflect that spirit of service and of uh, being connected to the community. As the miles piled up towards six, these runners knew the tragedy of Sonny Kim's death hit very close to home. Sonny Kim was actually staying past his shift call, so, you know, to, I'm sure there are a lot of people that wonder what would have happened had it been them instead of Officer Kim. But that isn't stopping anyone from getting back out on the streets to protect and serve. We as officers, uh, of course we hurt inside, but we don't have the luxury of, of just allowing our feelings to take the best of us. We have to go out there and continue to do what he did even until the very end. Finally, the six mile mark, the run was over. Cooling spray from a fire hose was welcomed. Lunch was too. A time to reflect on the loss of a hero. He a, a, was a quiet guy that, you know, wasn't out there professing it all the time. I mean, he just quietly did his job and uh, really uh, broke a lot of hearts when he passed. And someone who everyone says lived a life of integrity, a trait to be passed on. Do the right thing. I mean, it's something you always tell your kids. You're never wrong if you do what's right. Very, very good advice. Hundreds of police officers from around the region and across the country are going to be attending Officer Kim's funeral on Friday. I'm told that the Hamlet County Sheriff's Office is going to provide deputies to man some of the posts at District 2 so his colleagues can attend that service. Tom McKean, on your side, live in the West End.